Kirk 916. Positivity, motivation. Never settle for average. You know, I try to keep you guys laced up over here and um, hopefully make better choices than I did in my younger days. But uh, it seems like it's an epidemic with a lot of the rappers out there right now getting caught up in violent situations. I just saw where Draco the Ruler was stabbed at a event the other night in LA. And between having a scuffle, which would appear to be, they say, allegedly, YG's crew. But um, regardless of whose crew it was, um, young man, 28 years young, lost his life. And um, it's just, it's a sad situation, man. And I'm always telling you guys to read energy. I'm always telling you guys to watch the frequency of the individuals you're around to um, be conscious of your surroundings. I've been in situations I can recall when I was young. And, you know, we were at clubs, you know, getting at females, doing our thing, you know, representing with nobody tripping. But once it got to a certain number of individuals from another clique, it got real heated. And, you know, you have to be able to read a situation. And I would always let the homies know, like, man, um, it, it seems a little, seems a little hot up in here right now. A little, uh, a little pumped up. We need to, we need to try to uh, regroup and, or, you know, make our way up out of here or be prepared to get into some shit. And I'm telling you, every single time, shit kicked off. Multiple times, you know, in the town. But, uh, you know, when you're young, you, you, you know, you ready for anything. You, you down for the action. The action is excitement. You know, after the excitement uh, is over with, you know, you're, your name is ringing in the streets. You feel like you're a superhero. You got some powers. You done upped your level a little bit, your street cred. And, um, you know, hopefully you live to see another day, but it doesn't always play out like that. And, um, you know, there's a couple of times I walked out of situations where um, I probably wouldn't be here today if I hadn't walked out on them. But going back to... You know your frequency, your energy. You gotta go with your gut. You gotta, you got when you feel that gut feeling, you gotta act on it because it can save your life. And um, you know, I I wasn't there, so I don't know the situation with Draco, the ruler. But um, you know, nowadays you put hands on somebody, man, they are not trying to take an L. And um, you know, dudes is not squabbing no more. You know, they're not catching fade. They ain't going no head up. You know, you ain't going from the shoulders. It's not like back in the day where you, you can just catch a fade. You know, maybe you get some knots on your head. I mean, I've been, I've been kicked. You know, I had dudes try to stomp me out, man. But it wasn't like I was going to get up and kill them. You know, it's just, all right, when I see them next time, we're going to get down. And that's how I looked at it. I mean, it, it wasn't to the point where I wanted to stab or kill somebody over a fight, you know. And I've caught black eyes, uh, you know, had my nose busted. I got hit upside the head with a bottle. And I mean, all this is, you know, it's, it's all documented. Dudes from, you know, from the town, they know what's up. But I mean, you know, this is years ago when I was young and just trying to, uh, you know, get my flex on. But in retrospect, being able to share those stories, I'm not here to brag about them. I'm here to say, young men got to watch yourselves out there, man. And the lifestyle and, you know, what you're surrounding yourself around and just knowing your environment, even, even, even now, you know, I'm not into anything, but if I see a situation where it could possibly be, be some trouble, I'm always looking for how to avoid it. And if I'm confronted with it, how to neutralize it quick, I'm not going to be, 
you know, going round toe for toe, none of that. I'm trying to get up out of there as quickly as possible. But, um, you know, when you, when you see things and you know there's possibly some cats that might be tripping and, you know, one or two, they ain't saying nothing, four or five, they ain't saying nothing. But when they get deep, I've seen it. They will test the waters. It happens all the time. You know, ain't nobody tripping out. We all, you know, we cool. We do this and that. I, and and I seen it, man. And dudes get around to other homies and be like, what? Cedric? Like, damn, I thought we was cool. You know, and it changes just that quick because these other cats, they don't know you like that. And they with their homie. So the homie got to ride with his other his other partner. So now who you thought was your friend, it's, it's a whole nother situation. And, um, you know, you could just be collateral damage. So you just gotta be careful out there, man. I, like I said, it's sad. And when you, but when you, when you brew up that energy, that energy has, it, it has repercussions or stuff with it, man. And, and like I said, I'm not judging anybody out there making a living, doing a rap, doing a, they thizzle, whatever they doing. But just be aware that Energy vibrates at a certain level. Certain things attract other things. The universe vibes off a certain vibration. And if you're vibing at a certain vibration, you're not gonna attract or be around certain situations. But if you're vibing and, and, and engaged in a certain vibration or frequency, you will be in the thick of things daily. I used to wonder when I was 18, at a per certain point, I was always getting into shit. Always. Every weekend, shit, shot at, fighting, doing this. And I used to be like, damn, man. You know, it was like every time we went out to, to do something, it was always some shit. But I was vibrating at such a low frequency, I didn't even know what I was doing. I just was out making moves and doing things. I thought I was just, you know, being regular but I was attracting a certain, a certain energy unknowingly. But I'm trying to tell you, if you know this thing, you'll, you'll feel it. Just like the day I did my damn bank robbery. I felt it in my gut, but I didn't listen because my frequency was still a low vibration. So when you see some gas station, you know, you at the mall, you in a parking lot, you at a park, you at a, a function and you start seeing something and something tells you when that, when that something says, Hey, you know, let's move or watch out, man. Listen, that's going to save your life, man. But uh rest in peace to Draco, the ruler. Like I said, I never knew the man. Um, I, I listened to some of his music, some of his mixtape stuff was banging. And, um, you know, it's just, it's crazy, man. Like I said, you can't catch a fade. Ain't nobody going to go head up. Ain't no one-on-ones. I mean, you know, you can't, you, you, you can barely catch a one-on-one -on -one in prison. A lot of times dude's going to rush you up in there, pack you out. So life in this game, man, it's changed. It's, it's, it's not about, you know, fighting. We used to look at it kind of like almost fun, you know, getting a rush off of it, but it ain't about that no more, man. It's, it, and it's, it's, it's on some really some, you know, um, um, some death's time, you know, people are getting killed over stuff, man. That's really petty. And, um, I just hate to see young people losing their lives like that, man, because the, now the alternative for that guy, whoever was involved in that, you know, they get caught up, they go into the pen for murder. Then they're going to have to really carry a shank, you know what I mean? Because it's going to be all type of just chaos and nonsense, man. It's, it's horrible. It's horrible. It's a horrible cycle, man. That whole world is horrible. But, um, man, you know. Uh, you know, you go out to have a good time, but you got to watch where you go to have a good time at and, and and who you're with when you're having this good time, man. And, uh, you know, it, it's just, it's out there, man, that, that dark energy. So just be aware. I'm just sharing, man. You know, I'm not here to preach. I'm not trying to tell you guys how to live your life. Um, man, you know, like I said, I made enough mistakes and did a lot of stupid stuff, man. But uh, as an OG that's been there, done that, man, I'm just telling you, man, um, make wiser choices and uh, just be conscious 
of your environment at all times and the frequency in which you're operating at and what you're attracting as far as energy. Big Herc 916. Lockdown's over. Get your yard time in. Exclusively at FreshOutSeries.com. Hello, I'm Big Herc 916. Contact me for life coaching and motivational speaking.